Adrenal glands are removed for a variety of reasons. Most often it's because it is overproducing hormones. Um, and then if you remove it, what will happen is that hormonal overproduction will go away. For patients who have adrenaline producing tumors or aldosterone producing tumors, which affects high blood pressure and salt metabolism, those are gonna be cured right after surgery. And so you may be able to reduce your medications uh, and, and the problems that you were having related to that resolve. If patients have steroid overproduction, which is called Cushing's disease, once you remove that gland, the other gland is often suppressed and not quite working adequately. It ultimately will recover and come back to full function, but those patients often need to be treated with steroids after surgery until that other adrenal gland can kick in and work normally. If you just have a non-functioning adrenal mass and we're taking it out because of a suspicion of cancer, the other adrenal gland should meet your body's needs. One adrenal gland is all we need to produce all the hormones that our body needs in the long term. When we remove it, there are a couple structures near it. So the adrenal gland can be near the liver, the pancreas, the kidney. And so during surgery, there's always a small risk of injury to those surrounding structures. But I would say that that risk is very low. Probably the greatest risk is that oftentimes we try to remove it laparoscopically through small incisions, but occasionally because the anatomy is such or we just can't see well enough that we need to make a bigger incision. And I would say that that's maybe one or two percent of patients that end up requiring an open operation to remove their adrenal gland.